Hi everyone. Let's solve question number forty-eight for any real number x. Gi this is gi function. Then the value of integral zero to pi gi f of two sine x dx. Okay. Now let's first try to plot the function two sine x. So this is how the sine x would look like from two sine x would look like from zero to pi, and this value would be two. Now we know that this value would take one value somewhere over here. Right, that is one, and we also know that g i function is discontinuous at uh, integral values. So we have to take those values into consideration. So this value is pi by two at pi by two, two sine x is two, and at pi by six and five pi by six, two sine x would be one. Okay. So now with the help of property that if in the range which we are calculating the integral, if in that range. If the function is being discontinuous at some points, or the definition of function is changing, then we have to break the integral, right, at certain points. So that point would be this point and this point, right, because at these two points the function is becoming discontinuous. So from zero to pi by six, the function value is in between zero to one. Two sine x is zero, between zero to one, so basically g i f of that would be zero. From pi by six to five pi by six. The function value is lying between one to two, so the g i f function would be one d x. And similarly, from five pi by six to pi, this value would be zero because it the function value is lying between zero to one, so g i f would be zero d x. So this is zero, this is zero. We have to calculate this only. So that would be x d x and limit with limits five pi by six and pi by six. So that would eventually come out to be five pi by six minus pi by six. So that is nothing but two pi by three. So C is the correct answer.